Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Unit 11, Lesson 3, and we have to talk about the other definition of acids and bases, which is the Bronsted-Lowry, Bronsted-Lowry theory of acids and bases, okay? So um, you have a couple boxes in your notes where you can write down the definition of a Bronsted-Lowry acid and the definition of a Bronsted-Lowry base. A Bronsted-Lowry acid is a proton donor. Remember, a proton, I uh, can't write on it, a proton, can't write anywhere on this, is H plus, okay? That's what a proton is. So really, um, if, if you think about Arrhenius, which was something that donated hydrogen ions, the Bronsted-Lowry acid is really the same definition. It's an H plus donor. The way that I remember that acids are donors is that if you do acid, you're a loser. So acids lose hydrogen ions. So the Bronsted-Lowry definition of an acid is not really any different than the Arrhenius definition of an acid. Arrhenius is a, uh, someone that donates hydrogen ions. Bronsted-Lowry is someone that donates protons. But a proton and a hydrogen ion are the same thing. So the definition really isn't any different. Anything that's an Arrhenius acid is also a Bronsted-Lowry acid, okay? A Bronsted-Lowry base is a proton acceptor. They gain hydrogens. This is very different because an Arrhenius base was a metal with OH, right? You had to have the OH. You had to donate hydroxide ions. But a Bronsted-Lowry base, all you have to be able to do is accept a hydrogen. So there are some things that are Bronsted-Lowry bases that are not Arrhenius bases. For example, NH3. This is not an Arrhenius base. Because in order to be an Arrhenius base, you need a metal with OH. Okay? This is not, this is a non-metal. This is a non-metal. So it's not an Arrhenius base, but it can accept the hydrogen. Like if you put it in water, a hydrogen can go to the NH3 to make NH4 plus and OH minus. So it can act as a base by accepting a proton or a hydrogen from water. So the definition of a base is very different in Bronsted-Lowry than it is in Arrhenius. Anything that's classified as, as an Arrhenius base, like all these metals with OH, they are also Bronsted-Lowry bases. But there are some things that are Bronsted-Lowry bases, like the NH3, that are not Arrhenius. So Bronsted-Lowry encompasses more compounds than Arrhenius does. There are more things that are considered bases um, with Bronsted-Lowry than with Arrhenius. Oops, let me see if I can hide this now. I'll just move these out of the way, I guess. Maybe. <laughs> it, oh, it won't let me. Okay, so just watch. There's a couple warnings that you have at the bottom of your uh, page here. There are some compounds that contain hydrogen that are not acids, like H4. In order to identify an acid, you really want to look for H first or the Ku group. Just because you have hydrogen in you does not make you an acid. You need H first in your formula or you need the Ku group, okay? For a base, look for a metal with OH or for NH3, okay? So look for a metal with OH or for NH3 for a base. Okay, um, before we get to the pH scale, and I think we'll save that, there was one thing that is kind of hard to see on your paper. You may be given a reaction, and maybe you can write this at the top of page two or three of your notes, page two of your notes. You may be given a reaction like this, like that one I just wrote on there. So NH3 plus H2O goes to make NH4 plus and OH minus. And they may ask you, who is the Bronsted-Lowry acid? Who's the Bronsted-Lowry base? Or they may also ask you for the Bronsted-Lowry acid-base 
conjugate acid-base pairs. Which sounds super confusing. Who's the Bronsted-Lowry acid-base pairs? But it's really not. So you want to go to your reaction and you want to try to identify what's happening. You want to pick a reactant and a product there are part that are partners. So that's what in your little box where it says partner the reactants with the products they turn into. NH3 is going to turn into one of these products. It's either going to turn into NH4 or OH minus. You have to decide which. It will turn into the product that either has one more H or one less H. So the possible things that NH3 could turn into would be NH4 or NH2, something with one more hydrogen or one less hydrogen. So NH3 looks most like NH4, right? So they are partners. Then you count up the hydrogens. This has three hydrogens. This has four hydrogens. Within the partnership, the one with more hydrogens is the acid, and the one with less hydrogens is the base. Because if you think about it, how would NH3 turn into NH4? It would have to gain an H. If you're an H gainer, you're a base. If you're an H loser, you're an acid, okay? So NH3 is the base, NH4 is the acid, and we call them a conjugate acid-base pair. I'm just going to abbreviate conjugate. They are partners. Okay, we would actually call NH4 the conjugate acid of NH3. Okay? And we partner the other reactant. Water looks most like OH minus, right? It just lost an H. Here it had two H's. Here it only has one H. Okay, so you count your H's. You have two. You count your H's, you only have one. You don't count your OH's, you count your H's. The one with more H's in the partnership is the acid. The one with less H's is the base. Again, think about it. How would H2O turn into OH minus? It would lose a hydrogen. If you lose a hydrogen, you're an acid. So another conjugate acid-base pair is H2O and OH minus. You also have the NH3 with the NH4 plus, okay? So we partner them up to find out what the conjugate acid-base pairs are. The one with the more hydrogens is the acid, the one with less hydrogens is the base. And notice, I don't know if you notice, but on the left side of the arrow, see here, you have a base and an acid. And on the right side of the arrow, that would be your conjugate. We have the conjugate acid and the conjugate base, but a base and an acid. You will always only have one acid and base on the left and one acid and base on the right. If you do this and you get two bases on the left, you made a mistake, okay? So that's it for today. Um, on Monday, we'll start talking about the pH scale and hydrogen ion concentration with regard to acids and bases. Enjoy your weekend, everybody. We'll see you Monday. Bye-bye.